No. What did you say? Celestia and Luna sat in their throne room, staring ahead at the door, awaiting the arrival of the ponies they had summoned. They would likely arrive very quickly, given the urgency Celestia had put into the message that was sent. Do you truly believe that they are ready? Luna asked. Celestia smiled. Of course I do. I'm surprised you even have to ask. They've done far more for Equestria in the past few years than I've ever been able to do on my own for several centuries. Luna smiled as well. Indeed. Even with both of us here, I suppose we just don't compare, do we? Just as Luna finished her sentence, the large double doors of the throne room burst open, and in came the ponies that the two alicorns had been referring to. Fluttershy, Applejack, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and of course, Twilight Sparkle. The elements of harmony themselves. We came as fast as we could! What's wrong? Twilight asked, panicked. Actually, nothing's wrong. Everything is perfect. Luna stated happily. What? You called us here because nothing is wrong? Rarity asked loudly. Celestia nodded. In a way, yes. You see, Equestria is currently enjoying its longest period of harmony in recent years. And it's all thanks to you. All of Equestria, including us, are in debt to you six. Spike glared slightly in Celestia's direction. It's about time you noticed! Rainbow Dash yelled. Twilight smiled. Wow. Uh, thank you. Of course. And with all the work you've done, that means there has been far less for me and Luna to do. Which is why, after much consideration, we have decided to step down from our positions as the leaders of Equestria. In response to Celestia's statement, everyone in the room gasped. All except for Twilight, who looked like she had come to an unpleasant realization. Rarity sputtered for a moment. Step down? But who could possibly take your place? Well, is it not obvious? Luna asked. Do you mean us? Pinky shouted, and Luna nodded. The others, excitedly and with slight distress talking over each other, discussed this new development. They all had a mix of surprise and fear in their voices, namely Fluttershy. Although, one pony was absent from the discussion. That is, until they silenced everyone else with a single, very firmly spoken word. No. Celestia and Luna stopped smiling, and they both looked at Twilight, a bit shocked. And in Luna's case, perhaps with a hint of anger. Uh, what did you say? Celestia asked. I said no. I refuse. We're not going to take your place. I is that allowed? Applejack whispered to Rarity, who shrugged in response. The others looked at Twilight, wondering what the legal penalty was for saying that to the ruler of Equestria. Fluttershy noticed Luna's annoyance, and hid behind Pinky. Celestia took a moment, but she cleared her throat and spoke. Uh, Twilight, I assure you that you and your friends are just as, if not far more capable of leading- Twilight raised her hoof, interrupting Celestia. Uh, yeah, I know that we could rule Equestria very well. My belief in our ability to do so is not why I'm refusing. I'm simply saying that I have no desire to take your place, despite my level of qualification. But if you believe that you could rule Equestria, what is the issue? Luna asked, sternly. To put it simply, I don't want to. I appreciate the offer and I am honored that you acknowledge our ability as leaders, but just because we could, does not mean we want to. Celestia was a bit stunned. In all honesty, she was not used to ponies providing any resistance when she said something. It was an intriguing experience. Twilight sighed. <sighs> Celestia, Luna, before I came to Ponyville, I didn't have a single friend besides Spike, and all I did was sit around and study. But after I met my friends, everything became so much better. We saved Equestria several times, used the elements of harmony, and we've learned so much about ourselves and each other. I even became a princess, and I now run a school. Yes, Twilight, we know. Which is why you would make a perfect ruler. Twilight interrupted once again. But, you see... All of those things, I have deeply enjoyed. Those things give my life meaning. What I'm saying is, 
Those things are what I'm meant to do. And I can't do them from this throne room. Behind Twilight, her friends all looked to each other and wordlessly nodded in agreement. Celestia looked at them all, wide-eyed. Well, Twilight, as a princess, it is your- My what? Responsibility? With all due respect, I am the princess of friendship, and only I can decide what that means. Using the elements, solving friendship problems, and protecting Equestria. Those are my responsibilities. My purpose. And I can't be the princess of friendship and the ruler of Equestria! Plus, I really don't want to sacrifice time I could be spending with my friends. Step down if you'd like, but you'll need a different replacement. Do y'all agree? Twilight asked the others. Twilight's friends joined the conversation with a collective agreement, despite the fear of punishment for their disobedience. Celestia looked over across the room at Twilight and her friends, and after waiting to assure Twilight was finished speaking, they smiled and sighed. <laughs> While it... Certainly was not the response I was expecting. Or hoping for. Luna muttered. I must say, I am proud of you. For knowing your purpose, and not blindly following my orders. You truly are worthy of your status as a princess. Twilight nodded. Thank you. Now, if there's nothing else you need for us, we'll be heading home. Whoa, 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 so, uh... We're not going to jail for treason or something? Rainbow Dash asked. Celestia giggled. No, you're not. Not yet, anyway. Luna said, once again under her breath. And with that, Twilight and her friends left the room, leaving Celestia and Luna to their discussions. Well, it was worth a try, I suppose. Luna groaned. I was really looking forward to retiring. Celestia scoffed. As if you need it. I'm the one who spends an extra thousand years raising and lowering the moon. Luna rolled her eyes. Oh, you move an extra ball every day, you poor thing. May I ask who was watching over Pony's dreams in that time? Uh, uh, well, uh, anyway. Uh-huh. Luna mumbled, glaring slightly. Don't suppose you know anyone else who might be able to take our place? Unless you want to put Discord in charge. Hmm. Celestia looked up, considering that option. That was a joke. Uh, oh, uh, yes, of course. I suppose we'll have to put up with this job for the time being. Both sisters groaned, and hearing this from right outside the door, Twilight and her friends giggled. I mean, think about it. If you're going to try and control a whole nation, that's probably going to suck. Probably going to suck even more than shitting on a toilet with your pants still on. Anyway, let's get on to our clean donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Star630, Badass Waffle, Only One Thing, and Saru Orion. Magic Chalk TF, Darkside Raiden, Narls, Black Moon, Our Pastel Skies, Austin Roland, Sword Brother, Mordred, Omicron, Lyra, Runeslath, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Rise, Soul, Shadow Moon, Luigi, Chancellor Crust, Big Smoke, Bobcat, Murder Princess, Jet, Calidus, Little Mighty, and many more amazing people. Thank you so much for watching, and oh my god, I don't know what's with my mouth today.